Take a look what I found on AliExpress. Zoe Multimeter Brand Chop. And on Hot Deals, number one selling product is this one. The model is ZT703S 3-in-1 handheld oscilloscope automotive dual channel 50 MHz with digital multimeter and signal generator tester. I received, I wait a couple of days and I got it. Oscilloscope multimeter 3-in-1 dual channel. Oscilloscope multimeter made by Zoe. Right. And in the box, yes, of course, is a bag. And inside is the multimeter. Oh, take a look at this beauty. So, in the box you will get, of course, the Zoe ZT703 triple in one oscilloscope multimeter with si signal generator. And yes, it's a rechargeable, so we'll get a Type-C USB cable for charging the device. User manual, measuring probes and one probe for measuring frequency. Very nice. In the user manual, it's everything described very well with overview, safety instructions, main interface, oscilloscope mode main interface. This is the charging cable that goes right here on the side of the multimeter. You open this rubber protection and here is the Type-C USB port for charging the device. When you hold the multimeter, the feeling is very nice, the material is very smooth. Oh. Also you have a holder for holding like this. Okay, let's remove this ticker where it says stop testing voltage in current mode. <laughs> Alright, also there is a protection on the screen, but I will not remove it. All right. And powering in three, two, one. Zoe. Wow. Take a look at that screen. Beautiful screen. Wow. Let's explain some stuff. On the top we have channel one and channel two input for oscilloscope. As I told you, on the side we have signal generator output terminals and the Type-C charging port. At front we have the power button with holding for two seconds we're gonna power on or off. We have auto range button, hold and save and with the mode button you can choose between oscilloscope and the multimeter. Also we have the, the menu button with arrow keys up, down, left and right. And on bottom we have the connectors for 10 amperes, for milliampers. This is ground. And on the right side we have the, the voltage, ohms, hertz and capacitor continuity and diode test connector. Let's see the probes, which are very high quality probes. And take a look at these sharp edges. They are super fine. Okay, let's hook up on the multimeter and with mode button we're gonna go to the multimeter and take a, take a look at that beautiful scale. Alright, first thing that I will try is with choosing on F2 with the continuity test. Alright, let's try it. How fast it is, is it the continuity? Nope. Take a look. This is super fast. And 
the resistor is 0 0.08 ohms beautiful now I'm gonna go to voltage on my power supply I have set on 5.3 volts exactly and let's see 5.31 volts Ooh, nice before measuring this component let me explain there are four buttons F1, F2, F3 and F4 F1 is for measuring the voltage AC and DC F2 is for measuring ohms, capacitance, diodes and continuity tests by pressing the same button you can choose which operation do you want it F3 is for measuring the currents or amperes and you need to plug the, the probe right here on 10 amperes and but when choosing F4 you're gonna measure current in milliampers right now I'm gonna measure is this way yes the drop voltage is 0, 0 0.173 volts that meaning that this component is okay okay let's measure this resistor which is 220 kilo ohms by pressing the resistance function and let's measure that yes 221 kilo ohm this capacitor is 100 nanofarads and on the display it says 97 nanofarads great i'm gonna show you how you can measure the the amperes first we're gonna choose f3 and you get a notification that you need to relocate the the red probe to 10 ampere socket okay i have a car bulb right here connecting here goes the one and the second one and take a look on the screen it says that it's pulling 967 milliampers or that is almost one ampere okay let's proceed to next testing for that I will need the oscilloscope probe I need to tell you that this oscilloscope is dual channel 50 megahertz we're gonna attach the probe to the channel 1 all right and we, we're gonna go on this button which says mode when you press it we are going to the oscilloscope and on the side beside the type C charging port we have the signal gener generator with ground and the signal output which is generated one kilohertz and with the probe attaching to these terminals on ground and let's say on signal generator take a look and by hitting the outer range you will automatically see the the signal with the arrow keys you can select what is your desired function beautiful and let me explain some basic stuff that you have right here on this bottom side of the screen with pressing F1 you choose volts and time F2 is move the, the amplitude trigger and cursor let's say move you can go right here whatever you want With trigger you can set the trigger beautiful this is very nice and at any time you can set auto range go to wall and voila beautiful amplitude on the screen also to mention on the oscilloscope probe you can adjust 60 megahertz or 6 megahertz between 10 mega ohms and 1 mega ohm 10 times or one time also on the the pen you can choose times one or times ten while we are at signal generator it have this option to go to menu choose output on f4 and you can select and adjust the signal ge generator output you can you have shine wave rectangular or square let's do that also you can choose the frequency and the voltage and the duty cycle also 
and take a look at this. Oh. Pressing menu and let's go to measure, enter. That's and also you can select here the voltage peak to peak, voltage maximum, minimum, duty cycle, frequency, whatever you want to change it. All right. Also, you can set the backlight by pressing this one. This is 100%, 30%, 50, 80. You have also auto off 60 minutes, 120 minutes of yes, two hours is the maximum. Let's choose to 30 minutes. No, I'm gonna go to 10 minutes off. It says the version is version 1.5.6 run mode normal a lot of function can be adjusted another function is with choosing the menu button and you go to more apps enter and here you can choose the signal signal generator and take a look the signal output can be adjusted in shine wave square triangular half full sawtooth everything also you can select the, the frequency and the maximum is how much I think that is one, 100 kilohertz okay cover the type C cable and what it says with one amper it's charging with one amper all right and can you operate the multimeter while charging oh we have a red light meaning charging turning off shutting shutting down let's try that and yes you can operate the multimeter while charging this device or this multimeter 3-in-1 oscilloscope multimeter and signal generator it's a beast I love it it's beautiful made and I test it and I like it. For more information, you can visit the link below. And that was all for today. Video review. Please give a like, share and subscribe to my channel. See ya!